time for Seattle Sips, where we check out amazing drinks in our area. And today we're giving you a look at a fabulous new craft cocktail bar in Capitol Hill. Yeah, here to share some delicious drink recipes is Sienna Hembrook and Amy Graham with the best name in town, okay? The Jilted Siren. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having yes. us. Yes. So here. happy to have you here. So tell us a little bit about the team behind the Jilted Siren and what people can expect when they walk into the bar. Yeah. Well, the whole idea was to create a uh, community space. Um, great cocktails, non-pretentious. Um, our original menu was lovingly crafted by Mitchell Taylor of Wasted Days Cocktails. And he continues to work with us and curate um, all of our new menu, which will change quarterly. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And we're going to learn to make a few of your signature drinks today, just in time for summer. What is first on the drink menu? So first up, we're going to go for the Jilted Siren and the namesake great. cocktail. Um, in this one here, I did already build ahead of time so we can just get to drinking sooner than that. <laughs> That's um, good for us, too. <laughs> yeah. Very refreshing, nice, uh, still bold, and herbaceous. We're using mezcal as our base here. Mm. Um, so we've got mezcal and a little bit of shiso. Um, we're using a little bit of peach and a touch of absinthe in there, too. So okay. it's just this what a full yeah. layered, refreshing. So are we going to start seeing crazy things if there's absinthe? Because <laughs> <laughs> we got to do the rest I of the show. but still very nice and refreshing. Nice. I'm really impressed you can shake with one hand. Mm -hmm. So people talk. always come in here and shake, you know, we it's see all their two-handed shakes. Shake. Yeah. You can, I think this is the first one-handed shake we've seen. And you're explaining something. Yeah. <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah, so we've got lemon as our citrus in here. Beautiful. Refreshing, give you a little pucker. And we do add just our love of absinthe too, which is very refreshing. Okay. So we, we like to treat it almost like as salt in that sense, so okay. you don't overpower, you really just accent. Sweet. Beautiful. And that is the Jilted okay. Siren. Great. Yeah. Do you mind? Go for it. Okay, let's see. I do love mezcal, so. Hmm. Ooh, oh, okay. It has layers. It has layers. It keeps opening it up. Yes. Wow. Oh, I love that. It's so interesting. I love a delicious and interesting drink. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. What's next? Yes, you talking. I this bet. next one I will build for you. So mm -hmm. this is going to be the Summer's Daisy. Great. Refreshing, bitter, just beautiful, and the name, the appeal, the flavor. Of yes. course. Um, so what so this is going to be a little lemon here. You're wearing the perfect dress for a uh, Daisy yes, drink. I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dress today. Yeah. So we're gonna do an equal parts cocktail on this guy. So we've got a lemon, curacao, so nice orange hue there. Uh, we have a little batch that we do pandan infused Campari. So bring, so pandan gives off more of like a toasted rice vanilla kind of flavor. Mm. Okay. Has that, it will be uh, what the garnish is. So it almost looks similar to like a banana leaf. Oh. Um, but it gives off very different flavors. Interesting. This is so creative. So many different ingredients we don't normally have on our show. So it's really cool to try all these different ones. Uh, yeah. I love that. And you know, I really appreciate that you said off the top that it's, it's non-pretentious. Because yeah. I yeah. really think that with these sort of craft cocktails, people sometimes get the idea like, oh, I don't know if that's for me. But I love that you're just really opening and, and welcoming of all the people that want to try it out. Absolutely. And we, you know, also offer shots and beers if that's your <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Happy hour and all the fun stuff. And so just a little bubbles from the Topo Chico on just top. Just a touch, <laughs> yeah. So a classic Daisy style cocktail is where you take basically a sour base there, but instead of using uh, just you. like simple syrup, you'll use a liqueur of some sort. Mm, okay. So the curacao comes in as that liqueur, and then it usually has just a touch of soda just to add that little extra vitamin. Just the perfect amount of little bubbles, just a little, oh, I'm here, yeah. I'm here. Oh. I love this is really good. Yeah. I love the presentation too. The little metal straw, the little leaf, the big ice cube. It looks refreshing. It tastes great too. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's good. A little so bit yummy. of bitter, not too aggressive at mm -hmm. all. Very very accessible. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, we got one more drink, one right? One more, yes. And then, so this one we actually already mixed it up for you there. Um, this is going to be the Dark Sea. We Ooh. do have a non-alcoholic version as well, the Light mm -hmm. Sea. So mm -hmm. plenty of options to go. Mm -hmm. um, it reads kind of weird on paper, but it makes sense when you think of the things in many classic forms. Um, so it is a base of red wine. We have Fernet, our uh, Italian aperitivo digesti, and uh, some fresh ginger juice, touch of lime, and then we top it off with Coca-Cola. With Coca-Cola? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it kind of comes you with a few different... share this one with your straw? Sure. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see. Straws there we'll do. You. We'll do a Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's an amazing combination. Ooh. It doesn't seem like it should go together, but it does. Gingery. It's yeah, dangerous. I like the ginger yeah. in it. So we do fresh mm. it's a ginger. Drink. It has it a is for sure. <laughs> yeah. I feel healthier already. Oh my gosh, these are all so amazing. Uh, tell us a little bit though about your your food options. Yeah. So we. Um, have a food menu that changes quarterly as well. Um, it was inspired by the spice trade route. And the food item itself may be something that you're familiar with, but the taste is new and okay. exciting. And we like to keep it fresh and, like I said, change it up every three months. That's so interesting. And you have a unique ice cream sandwich as well, is that right? We do. Our newest one is um, inspired by the penicillin cocktail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is so amazing. What would you say was your favorite? Ooh, I, I like this all, was so unique and it's healthy. So that's <laughs> not yeah. again, right? We're rebranding yeah. it that way. Yeah, that's absolutely mm -hmm. true. Um, what kind of like ambiance would you describe for anyone that wants to visit um, you? You know, it's a little dark and broody. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, just it's just kind of designed to make people feel comfortable wherever they are. Yeah. You know, sweatpants, Wonderful. date, meeting up with oh, girlfriends, whatever That's it is, we we've, we've got you. The vibe the vibe is there to cover it. All right. Well, I'm gonna jump back into the mezcal, but I do want to <laughs> thank you both for coming. We've of course posted more information on the jilted siren up on our website, fox 13 salecom slash studio13live. Thank, thank you. So you. Much for thank you so much. Yeah. We'll see, see you again soon.